overall game. It just seems like as a as a lead ball handler and you know kind of a guard there out on the perimeter, he's been able to do a lot of good things for you. Yeah, he's a steady player. He's come a long way in a year. Um, we're trying to play a style right now where it really shouldn't matter who's bringing the ball up the court. So you'll notice that Hamilton, Dozier, Ferguson, Rashawn, and Deontay, you know, we're going to bring the ball up the court with everybody. Um, and today the ball movement was much better than it was the last two games. I thought we made a lot of strides there. But PJ's a really stable player. He's really smart. Uh, he's a team guy. He's always going to play for the team. You never need to even remind him of that. Uh, he's a two-way player. He plays offense and defense. He had a good game. Mark, how much of the way you guys have played, the way you've pushed it, the way the ball has moved, how much of that is, is from conversations with Billy about how the Thunder might want to play? Yeah, I mean, a lot of it. I mean, every summer league is basically a brainstorm about, uh, you know, two things, kind of where the Thunder are at and stuff they'd like to see. Uh, both offensively and defensively, and then the personnel that we have, you know, the players that um, are joining us in Summer League and what they need to do, and, you know, that's what goes up on the whiteboard the first time we talk. Um, and sometimes it's something as simple like we're testing out a new way to teach um, defense in the slot, you know, like really, really simple stuff, but it's, it's all evolved out of conversations with not only Billy but the staff, but um, sure, the pace of play and the way the ball is moving, you know, this is not like a one-off. This is definitely uh, everything we're doing out here is uh, designed to trickle up or to be experimented with or to be evaluated, both the personnel and the way we're playing. And then your personal, uh, personnel front, obviously Terrence is, you guys have thrown some stuff at him, he's doing some different things. He hasn't shot the ball well. How do you feel about just the way he's handled it? I mean, this is where you learn about these guys. I mean, from my perspective, I wasn't around him as much as uh, the Thunder staff this year, but, you know, that kid's doing a hell of a job of staying within himself. I think there's a lot of external pressure on these guys to come out and show out and, you know, be on some, like, highlight tape on Twitter. And to his credit, he's done a really good job of just staying within himself, playing the right way, playing for the team, not forcing. And, you know, part of his performance, he's had his ups and downs. That's predictable because we're asking him to do a lot of things that he hasn't done before. And, um, you know, he's handling that process really, really well. And this is the only way for a player to improve. I mean, it's just you have to go through this in order to get better. So he's exactly where he should be, and the way he's handling it is showing a lot of professionalism and maturity. Kevin Kirby seems like a pretty unique and interesting prospect. What maybe excites you guys the most about him right now? I mean, I think the same stuff uh, that excited them when they drafted him. You know, he's obviously a very skilled player for his size. Uh, the thing that stood out to me that I didn't necessarily know about him was he's really intelligent. You know, he's really, really smart. Um, so he's picked up on concepts very quickly. He asks really, really good questions. Um, and this is just a starting point. I mean, he hadn't shot the ball well. I think he's still getting used to the speed of the game on both ends of the floor. He had a hard time calling out pick and roll coverages in the first half today, and then he corrected that. So, like, those little moments of improvement are, are the value of this setting. Um, and all three of those guys, like, we're really excited about them. The way that they've made a first impression on everyone in the organization has been been very, very positive. Speaking of which, just another guy you're getting a baseline on here is Devin Paul. Just your thoughts on kind of where he's at and, and where you think he can continue to grow. Yeah, it needs to, uh, I think his defensive system in college, as effective as they are, uh, has a lot of different principles. So he's got some habits from college. He was very good there. Um, but he's got some habits specifically with pick and roll defense that are really hard to break. So he's working through that. Uh, and as a player, really, really complete guard. You know, he, uh, he can do everything. He shoots passes and dribbles. He really knows how to play. He's extremely savvy. Just another really good basketball player, good team guy really good complimentary player. Um, we like where he's at right now. He needs to improve on some things, but he's, he's made a good impression as well. Such a small window you've had with Ami, obviously. You talked about kind of keeping it simple from the first day. Have you expanded out a little bit and just what kind of impressions he made these three days? Yeah, I mean, we're definitely expanding. We're trying to, I mean, what we've learned is with these young guys, you throw everything at them and you see what sticks and you see where they're at. Um, the worst thing you can do with a young guy is assume that he's not going to get it and move too slow. So we're always going to move really, really fast. We're going to throw everything out there. And um, then we're going to see what's not sticking. And we're going to figure out um, where they need to go from there. But I mean, this is advanced. This is crash course right here for all three of those guys. And um, he's done a really, really nice job. They all have.